look at what she said. Yep. By the way, I'm going to go back to my menial job and be pathetic and wear my mask while I'm doing it too. All right, let's uh, let's get to this story. This is this is from Bounding Into Comics. Blabs, read it off. All right. Nerd Roddick, Yellow Flash, Critical Drinker, and Jesse Grant targeted by censorship police for opinions about the Marvels. YouTube appears to encourage reporting. Okay, mm. so this is what? a... Okay, so these are... We have several of friends in that group here. Uh, and this stems from a tweet that was pointed out to the YouTube like support system. Labs, is this correct? Yes. So what happened was... And actually, we can show it straight up in here. So this person... Tweeted at YouTube saying, when I searched about the Marvels on YouTube, why are these the top 10 results? And if you look, it's Nerdrotic, Yellow Flash, Crickle Drinker, and the other guy whose name escapes me. And so then, YouTube responded with something that I think is totally fine in this instance. They said, you can remove recommended videos on your homepage by selecting not interested in contact you don't like. This will influence how YouTube suggests videos to you in the future. Check out these tips to manage your recommendations. And up to that, that's fine, right? It's like, yeah. hey, if you don't like to see this, you can just click the way. However, yeah. it continues. Then they go on and say, also, we definitely don't want, don't, we definitely want a community to help flag inappropriate content to ensure YouTube is a safe place for everyone. If you come across something that violates YouTube's policies, you can report it by following these steps. So they're literally false flagging these videos as hateful, even though they're not actually hateful, they're just of a different opinion, saying, hey, this movie's shit. They're and not like, and that's the thing. I've, I've gone in and I actually, uh, I have an incognito tab pulled up and I wanted to see if this was the case. So what I did is I, I actually searched the marbles over on this incognito YouTube tab. And this is what, this is what you have here. Uh, when you scroll down, yeah, you, you find, uh, RK outpost Ryan, and then you find nerd Roddick and they're, they're in the, they're in the top, uh, looks like five results. Cause this top one is sponsored up here. That means right? people want to see it. That means people are watching it. Let me tell you what that means. It means people are watching, but more importantly, it means that their search engine optimization, SEO, is fire. Yeah. They put all the titles. It means their titles on point. It means their thumbnails on point. Look at the thumbnails that they've created here. The colorful, wonderful uh, you know, imagery I'm that you see here. always jealous of them. Always They're, jealous of those thumbnails, man. Like their these pop, thumbnails are fire. Yes, these, these thumbnails pop. Or flop in this case, uh, compared to <laughs> compared to these right here, like these pop off the screen here, right? What went wrong, right? These are all thumbnails that pop off the screen with great search engine optimization. Yep. It doesn't have any, it has nothing to do with hate. It has nothing to do with different opinions. It means that they're better at YouTube than you are. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the reality of it. And if if like the idea of flagging these because you don't like them because my feelings is absolutely silly, just well, insane. There's more, so let's keep going. But yes. He's, this person says, well, can you please tell us why you recommend grifters on my feed every time channels that I don't even watch at all are spewing the same hate, violence, grift every day. So apparently these guys are violent now. And YouTube just bends the knee and you're like, sorry about that. If you haven't yet, you can remove recommended contact by selecting not interested on your homepage, blah, 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 blah. So they're basically saying, oh, we're sorry for letting you see violent stuff, even though it's not actually violent. Wait, wait, well, go, go back to their tweet again. Can you tell me what they, they said, violence and what? Yes, so this person says, this person named Isaiah says, well, can you please tell us why you recommend grifters on my feed every time channels I don't even watch at all spewing the same hate violence grif every day? Okay. So all he right. is like gaslighting these channels saying, hey, this is violence. And YouTube's He's like, mentally Sorry. ill. Yeah. Yeah, there's something wrong with him mentally. These people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The basement dwellers. For sure. And that's what these people do, right? Hey, uh, guys, do you have, uh, do you have anything that like, Let's see what's a what's a popular. Uh, let's see Will Smith. Will Smith yeah. was in the news here the last couple of days. Let's just see yeah. what we got here. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go take a look here uh, over on my my uh, incognito tab over here. I just searched Will Smith and let's just see what we got here real fast. Um, you scroll mm. down, Jada Pinkett right here. Hey, why is Popcorn Planet? Yeah, Popcorn Planet. The first thing I see this this grifter, this grifter. That yep. term is so overused, by the way. Oh, what a yeah. fucking stupid term. I don't Sick think people it. actually know what the word grifting means anymore. That's it, why it's, it's been... <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Doesn't hit. So, viral vision, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Showing up in the first 10 things, right? And look like, at the picture. It's of Will Smith kissing the dude. That's clearly not a real picture. Especially <laughs> right. Craig because he's got vision and Craig doesn't. <laughs> Very unfortunate. 
But like, you see these people upset about all this stuff. Like you can, all these people are violent grifters. These, yeah. if you show up high in the search engine optimization on YouTube, man, get the fuck out of here. That is, yeah. that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And the fact that this guy is, is so much, is, is Charmin over here. So soft that, yeah, that he's got to, he's got to go over here and complain to, complain to YouTube. Why is he showing up in my feed? It shows up in everybody's feed because they're better at YouTube, you dummy. These are all <laughs> different people too. And there's another one. Here we go again from something. I don't even know his name. Gladly. It's offensive for so many reasons. I still can't believe it's still up. I just hate to give these people exposure and more clicks. What now, is offensive under- about What's it? What's offensive? This is, um, this is Gary's video and he's saying let's taco about it because it's Blue Beetle. Taco. Mexican. <laughs> oh no, racist. <laughs> Hold on. What, I would have made that joke. That's good. Hold on. Because well, that's that's kind of his thing, right? But by the I way, who that. tweeted who tweeted this out? What's the guy's name? S Y Psych DM? Let's let's find this guy Scythe right there. Scythe DM, yeah. Scythe. And while you're doing that, I'll read out the Or sick the DM. They say, oh. really appreciate you reporting this with the official tool. We'll also bump this up with the policy team. We take reports like this very seriously. And a team works hard to action action violative content when we're made aware. We'll take it from here. Bro, hey. they hate people. They hate competition. Mm. You know what they also hate? Let me tell you what they also hate. They also hate the idea that... Uh, let me pull this up. This is, this is very this is breaking news right here. Where are we? Let's see, we, oh, yep, here He's we like, what day is it? No, 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 I, I'm pulling it up. Yeah, I'm having a hard time saying it. Uh, this guy believes in his, in his statement so much that he hates that this is happening, that he has officially locked his Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> you Probably fucking. Probably because he got, like, pussy! Yeah. God, these people drive me crazy. I'm sorry. I, I know that I'm going off today. No. But, but this is, this, like. It's, I just feel like I've ranted for an hour and a half about these freaking idiots over here. And like, if you're going to say something, say it with your chest. <laughs> say it and believe it and don't back down. So was it, well, why don't you, I'm real. sorry your feelings are hurt. No, I'm going to lock my Twitter account. Grown like adult. Child. That's a grown adult doing that shit. And th- uh, that's, the, that's the saddest thing about this. We have grown adults who watch this show. Take clips that I say. These are grown men. Yeah. yeah. These are grown men who are hate watch who 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 don't like what they say. So they so they watch everything that we say and take clips out of it and say, look at what she said. Yep. By the way, I'm gonna go back to my menial job and be pathetic and wear my mask while I'm doing it too. <laughs> uh, there is even more to this story, right? Because this ties into what Gina Carano said a couple weeks ago with the bots, you know, there's more people and like ruining people's careers and lives and it's true because for all we know all those people aren't even real who's contacting Titties. youtube right they can just yeah boobies they can just be you know like a bot from disney yep. promoting marvel and everything so i just think that that's interesting there's a whole yep. other aspect mm. it's all shit <laughs> that's crazy mm. yeah that guy look the guy definitely wears a mask in his car when he's there by himself <laughs> if nothing sure. happens about that then I gotta give YouTube props, though. Well, I, I know you can mass flag people and get their shit taken down. So if they don't, and they just like take it off your fucking feed, that's what they should be doing. Their initial response was great. Like, look, hey, if you don't like it, just click I don't want. You, you can do that at any point. There's there's three bu- there's three little dots next to every video. Click that. You can say yep. I don't want to see it. Don't recommend this channel. I'm not interested. It's very easy to do. It's Which is insane. way more effective than complaining about it, making an article about it, and then having people be like, or making a tweet about it, and then having people be like, oh, let me go watch this video. <laughs> You're only giving it more more popularity at that point. If you just ignored it and was like, okay, it would bring impressions down. Yeah, there's yeah. One, there's go one ahead, good thing that they did say, YouTube, and that was this. And so Marlon tweeted out saying, hey, YouTube, Team YouTube, how about accountability for people that falsely flag videos? Do you accept those people roaming free in your platform, or do you guys do what's right and ban them as well? So YouTube responded back saying, to clarify, we look into misuse of our tools and web forms to prevent abuse and take action once any violations are confirmed. Here if you have any other questions. Unless okay, you're a small so- channel. Yeah, so it's like, well, what do you? who actually verifies that, you know, this stuff is harmful and is there a bias? 
when someone's viewing that scene, I don't like them, so I'm going to make it biased and, you know, remove them. Okay, here's, here's the issue with that, that nobody is going to talk about, is that, okay, what do you do? You, there's a mass flagging campaign against the channel, right? There, let's, say, let's say 12 people, they get together with their friends, they get on their, their Reddit or Discord, and they're like, we're going to mass flag nerd rotting right? And we're going to flag them. And they're going to tell everybody about how homophobic and horrible they are. And we're, we're going to go get them. We're going to get our little virtual internet gang together and we're going to go beat them up, right? Okay. So YouTube catches them and they ban them all, right? But here's the thing. At that point, Nerdrotic's channel, it's, it's one channel versus 12, right? That Nerdrotic channel has been pulled, loss of revenue for however long it's been pulled, right? And those 12 people, they may get their, let's say, let's say they get their channels removed from the platform. Well, guess what they do? They make a new email, yeah. they make a new account, and, then, and the whole thing starts over again. So there needs to be a bigger issue. There's, there's a big, much bigger issue here. There needs to be a, be a better solution to this because you're dealing with people's livelihood on their day-to-day -day basis. And uh, when you have a, a mass flagging campaign of, you know, it seems, I go back to the metaphor I had you know, a couple of weeks ago where I'm, I'm streaming on rumble. I'm, I got these people who come in, they're crazy, like super Jesus freaks. And they're like, Jesus is God. The Lord is this. Blah, blah, blah. And they're there. It's my chat is flooded yeah. with people all over the place. And I'm like, Oh crap. So I, I'm thinking like, do I need to ban what they're saying? You know, is, is it a keyword thing? But then I just start banning these people individually. And it seemed like my, it just seemed like I was getting overrun the entire time. But it was just six people. Yeah. It was six people spamming it out. And it felt like about 600. Yep. But until I just started taking them out one by one, then I was like, oh my gosh, this is so, it's so easier. And I thought like that to me was such a great metaphor for, for the internet. It happened in real time. And I was like, it was, it was crazy. So, but what do you think about this? Leave us a comment down below. We read every single one of them. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button because you have found your home for common sense in the gaming and entertainment worlds.